All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, we're back out at the, uh, at the medieval world. But first, I was checking my website and um, a, a, uh, the person by the name uh, Juan Garcia Hernandez wrote a really cool letter in and sent a picture, which I will show you right now. The, um, it says, I'm Spanish. I like your mind test videos. Thank you. I live in, uh, now, I'm going to probably butcher these um, names of these places, and I don't mean to, so bear with me. I live in uh, Salamanca, which is a province of Spain. Very cool. Here we have many medieval villages and cities, which are very famous in Europe, like Salamanca, Ciudad, um, Montemayor del Rio. I think I got that one sort of correct. Um, which he says has a be beautiful medieval castle. San Martin del uh, Castanera. Um, okay. And uh, he says he sent those in because it, it gave me some ideas with my medieval world. So greetings from Spain. Well, thank you from uh, America. So it's really cool um, to hear from somebody from Spain. So now, if I go over to my website, um, yeah, I got to do something about that form because the, the amount of spam, at first I thought it was spam and I went, wait a minute, no, there's a picture. And this is the picture that he sent. And check that out. That is very cool. And that's, that's what I was trying to achieve with my courtyard. So you can see everywhere is cobblestone and uh, stone bricks. Real cool fountain in the center here. Um, these buildings are really cool. And they really, if you look at them, they have that, uh, that chalk with the, um, with the, bo uh, the, the wood borders. Look at the detail in those beams. And then you have the columns. And yes, this does uh, bring up a lot of uh, a lot of ideas because I really like that layout with the columns and everything. As you can see, I, I enlarged the picture. Oh, look! In medieval times, they also had VHF and UHF and high definition antennas. Very cool. They were really, you know, they said the Dark Ages were, you know. Um, dark, <laughs> but <laughs> for technology wise, this ain't working at all, is it? Is it? No, obviously, it's it, those are modern antennas. Duh, they didn't have those around in the uh, 15 and 1600s, but that is very cool. And then we have another shot that I found on Wikipedia. And I can, this is doable. This is, I did want to do something like this with the buildings. And you got, you could see the multiple roofs and, you know, the different sections of buildings. I think that's very doable. And then there's what the, the castle of Montemayor del Rio. Really nice. You got the, uh, the entrance and then the space where you're still not in the castle. So they could basically lock you in here. And defend. And they got the square towers and a round tower. So that is really cool. There's some more um more shots of that. That's a very cool layout. What's this one over here, real quickly, before we go? Oh, that one's not loading. It's of Spain. Oh. Okay. And as you all know, I love castles. And there's um, there's a YouTube channel called uh, Shader University. Or, um, 
I'll try. I put a link in the description before, but that person did a lot with medieval castles and fortresses in the UK and Europe and, you know, Scotland and that. And then that's my favorite, uh, Himujin castle in Japan, the white heron. And I have a whole video where I built a, uh, I built said castle off a tutorial from a Japanese um, YouTuber. So, um, Mr. Hernandez, thank you very, very much. It is greatly appreciated. And yes, I will draw a lot of inspiration from this because I, I really love that courtyard. And I will show you where I'm going to use it. So we will go back over to the game. Yes, boy, I'm batting a thousand. I just got off work, and uh, it's still the summer break, so my daughter's sleeping right now. Um, she stays up later than me sometimes, and it's going nighttime. So let's uh, show you what I've been up to back in the daylight here, and I'm just going to jump off here. There we go. jump there that's a cool thing you can jump and not get hurt so i extended the fountain a little bit there you go thank you for joining so no everything's in here so my uh, idea is i'm going to be playing with the outsides of this castle very very soon but i started on the interior so i have four floors leading up to the uh, towers. So uh, we are going to come in here. The first floor is basically done. Look at that. We have an entranceway. And the volume's a little low on that. Hmm. We have the entranceway. And uh, a little water feature as you come in. And this leads up to the uh, second floor, which is not done yet but this is where they, they you'd come in and take a take a take a number and wait and then you can come over here this is the business side of the castle so down this first hallway we have just a um, an official room for officials i guess <laughs> of such and record keeping, bookkeeping, taxes, whatever, whatever the case would be. And there, this is just a storage room. Very nice. Because, you know, every castle has great storage. And then this hallway, this is the library. So this is where, like the, the record keeping and um, the stuff like that, where the the people that were keeping track of the crops, keeping track of weather, what you know, whatever the case is, they would be in here. And this section here is for more important documents, which you'd have some clerks taking care of that. And then back here, I figured out a way real quickly before, you know, um, too many nodes, he's working on those three high or, or more. But the texture pack that I'm using I guess this would be working in any texture pack. So I have the jail door with uh, those doors flanking it. So it extended, it's extended it to the width that I wanted. And this is the super secret ultra uh, secret library. This is for the most, um, how you say it, uh, the most important documents. And you need you need top level security clearance to get in there. So basically, what I was doing is I just sat sat down one night and I built out this um, complete ground level of the castle. Now you you know these are the main entrances. So you come in here. And it's kind of weird that you have a hallway going over here, but then you got this hallway going over here. But I can I can deal with that. So here is the jail. This is where 
you know, this is the non-dungeon part. This is like the intermediate jail. So we have some chains and we have some cells and some bunk beds. But this is where they would they would be kept until their trial, I guess. That they would go into the deep, deep dungeon. If they were really, uh, you know, turned out pretty cool. So then we are going to go um, to this hallway, which I re I re I ended up redoing all this. So this was the original entrance into the center part of the castle. So we come down here. Oh, we forgot this little bitty doorway here. And so I don't have a I don't have any barracks, but all the guards will be in here. Or most of them. So we have a whole range of bunk beds set up and a dining table. And then just a kitchen off of here, just for the just for the guards. And just a place to hold water. Because they didn't have running water back then. But then again, you know, that other place had the uh, UHF antennas, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. No, it's just for water. <laughs> and they can make stuff here. Got some cabinets of such. Fire going with some ovens. Cool. You can have a big, huge fire here, but don't need it right now. So, this is where all the... These are the upper... These are the um, the higher level guards. These would be like the uh, Green Beret or the um, Navy Seals. These are the special guards for the king. Over here we have a storage room, but we also have a way to get up to the castle. Now this this leads out into the upper level, which I'll show, but then this over here is what leads into the the um, the main living quarters for the king. It's good to be the king. And that is how that works. But we're not going to give that away too soon. So we come down back here. Like I said, it's storage and such. And that takes care of that. Now out here, I went, I went crazy with this area over here. So this is the hallway that leads out, and where we where we are at is here's the grounds. Yeah. So I'll show you where I was gonna do um, what I wanted to do is this is sort of the effect, but I don't think I have enough room over here on the hill to do what I want with. Uh, some more buildings where I can make those roofs, like the the ones that were in the picture. However, I'm thinking about doing something back here, about making another building over here that will sort of straddle the river. So we have that. But I don't want to do anything over on this side because this is the the... The real cool grounds. Back here, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this back here. I might put a horse stable in for people coming with their horses. But back here also is a sort of like a little jail cell area. It could be anything on either side. And I want to do something with the, uh, the ceiling here to make it look uh, more presentable. So let's go back upstairs here. So you'd be coming in and... You're coming in to see a show or listen to the king. And you come out and you got a little water feature here. And then I added these um, like vines and wooden fencing. And I really went, I really went crazy with the, uh, I just played with it to see what designs would work. So you kind of have this like three archways. And you have the marble ceilings. And I could add some lighting in here. I'm thinking about having a light come down. I'm not sure if I want to put the same vegetation, the bushes and stuff, on this side. I'll have to see. I'll have to play with that. 
So in here, there's some room for seating, another water feature, more seats, and that's how that works. I think it, it, it well, I like it, so it's a keeper. And then you got this glorious uh, balcony overlooking the main fountain. So yeah, I like my fountains. But I figure, yeah, you know, he who controls the water, um, yeah, controls everything. So we're going to go upstairs here. Actually, that's supposed to be he who controls the uh, air. And we've all seen, you know, the, the play sort of church area before. But we come over here, and this is where that area comes up. And goes to the king's quarter. So the king. This is an escape route for the king. And that's how. If he wanted to get from. His quarters. Down to here. He can. So that takes care of that. So I wanted. I wanted to play around. And do some more work. On. There's some more ideas with this before I head up to the second floor. See, I don't know if this would lend itself to um if it'll lend itself to the uh the same thing as the other side, so we gotta take we gotta take that out, take that. So how's everybody doing? The temperature is finally coming down, and um, we're in the eighties now, so the humidity has has died off a little bit. See, even that looks kind of cool, but I want to I want to continue with the that effect. Let's see how well this will look. So all I did is I come in, and we're gonna give it. Just some randomly placed. I don't know. I like that. I think it fills out. It fills that out. Maybe I'll do the other side too here. To give it. Just to finish off the. Um, what did I do on the other side for that? Oh, I left it. Okay. That will work. So I'm, I'm a really huge fan of bringing in vegetation from the outside. I always have been. Oop. And I like this color of the wood. The default, um, this is the default wood. It almost looks really cool. Like I said, it looks really cool um, without just do a little pattern here. Hmm. There we go. Everything connects. I think that's just enough. I think doing it on the backside would be a little, uh, a little bit too much. Now, one other thing, real quick. I want to see how this is going to look. I think that's the center. Yep, one, two, three, and we need 
that one. And then that one. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. So I've been playing around with, um, I want, I'm thinking about putting uh, some designs in the floor also. Because I want to break up the monotony of, like I'm trying to be real, <laughs> real precise there. So I couldn't talk during that, that, you know, little part. So this is coming along nicely. So I'm, I'm thinking about putting some kind of checkerboard design in here, or maybe like a border or something. I, I will figure that out, but that's really not important right now. So we have all the lights and I wanted to put, I might put some, some trees and such in the middle here to make that look really cool. So I was, um, hmm. what was I doing? So doing something. There it is. So over here, and it's really strange because my headphones are cutting in and out right now. I'm using an old set of, uh, I don't even know, I can't remember who these are. Sennhausers. Using an old set of Sennhausers, and it has a 2.5 millimeter connector. And... Uh, where it connects into the headphone, but a 3.5 five millimeter connector where with a an, ad, an adapter which will go to the oh what's is that the one I just put in? Yes it is. So it has a it, it, it goes from a 3.5 millimeter adapter with a quarter inch headphone jack. See I don't really like that like that. But I'm looking for something that will break up Break up the monotony here. I wonder if I put one on each corner. Ooh, this is real uh, riveting. <laughs> so, and these are old. Everything I have is old, and it, as long as it works, I don't. I don't really care how old it is. Like I said, I'm I'm running on uh, audio gear that is almost 20 years old. So I went to me and my daughter went into um, uh, a music place called Sam Ash because I hit the wrong key because she wants to learn how to play guitar, and I have two guitars that I've had for oh about 20 years now, and we I needed uh, guitar strings. For the one for my electric because it can plug into this pedal that has a drum machine on it and everything else that will allow headphones to be plugged in see i wonder nah, i'm not going to put anything there it allows for headphones to be plugged in so you could this silent you know you could play silently and we went in there and um basically we had a we had a field day because they had a three thousand uh, dollar Roland virtual drums, which man, I got to get me a set. Oh, that was so cool playing those. Now, why is that up there? Oh, because I was doing work. I was doing work up there, and uh, yeah. So that's going to do it for that. But um, I have a, um, a 20th anniversary Squire, the Stage Master uh, electric guitar, which is no longer in production, and a, um, an applause by Ovation, because I, I absolutely love the sound of Ovation guitars. And the thing is, is 
that sound is you, you either like it or you you don't because it doesn't have a uh, the body of the guitar is not wood it's a uh, poly a polycarbonate body and it's a shallow bowl design now before anybody goes oh well he's got all this rich equipment the uh, the applause the ovation applause cost me 125 dollars because it has scratch in it and this was 20 years ago and the fender they were actually getting rid of them because they um they weren't selling it's a nice looking guitar but they weren't selling i don't want that there and i i picked it up for a hundred dollars for 129 dollars so you know you don't need a, a five thousand dollar guitar or anything of that matter to to play you know i'm just going to instead of just keep uh, running back and forth from my inventory there we go go to the other side real quick where'd it go i never put it down so yeah, this, this episode is kind of strange because I've already done most of the work. Uh, I am going to do more. Hmm. I am going to do more with the, uh, especially with the um, time lapses and such. Let's go one higher. So I'm, I'm going to do some more things over here. You know this would this would look good. Uh, the tapestry, the long tapestry. So let's do that real quick before we say goodbye here, because I'm already at 27 minutes. So the do I want the very long one? Hmm. Nope. That looks kind of cool. I kind of can't do it over there. But I do like that. Oh, I can't put one in the center. So I will dye these real quick. And... Need that. And what color did I make? Uh-oh. Oh, that scared me there. And that's how that works. Uh, that that die gun is part of um, home decor. It was also, uh, there was a question in the, there was a question in the uh, comments about X panes and L panes, and I use both of them. Now, uh, Home De or, uh, uh, Dream Builder includes X panes. See, it should be on the. So, and then I use L panes. I, I love glass. So that that does it. There is the there is the main floor. This is the floor where everybody's going to come in, and you know they're going to kind of congregate before they go up into the. Um, the theater area. And it was just playing around with different shapes and different, um, just different looks of, it's like, it's almost like a building with inside of a building. And there you have it. So that, oh, it's already nighttime already. I have to figure out a door here. So that takes care of that we have the the quarters for the guards i'm going to build some more um i need to build a uh a barracks for the other army soldiers then we had the jail which is really cool we had the uh libraries storeroom 
one of the offices. <laughs> I just, what just ran through my head is the tax assessor's office in the movie The Blues Brothers, where they had to get to, um, they had to drive to Chicago and they had to go up to the tax assessor's office to uh, pay, you know, the taxes for the, the church. So you could picture a medieval like Blues Brothers. They ride in on horses and, and stuff. So up here, this is going to be the second leg of the transformation. Um, I'm going to do something similar down as I did down at the other end. And that is going to be making some rooms up here, utilizing this area back here. And we have the, we have the stairs going up to the third level. I have to figure out how high I want the roofs and everything. But this should be really cool because this area has the chandelier. And then you have like the, the little balcony which leads up to the other level. So that is going to do it for this episode. Um, I am going to actually build in the next one. I, I like the way this, this kind of entrance room turned out. It works. It really does. And come out here. And we're at night. Ooh. But I'm still trying to I'm still trying to figure out some kind of design over here. And I'm I don't want to get rid of this rock face because the castle is built out of the mountain. So this side will have most of the detail and this side will just have whatever detail is showing. And the go from there as we go up the stairs back to our little medieval house here. Keep forgetting to feed that horse over there. And there you have it. So, um, hopefully everybody stays cool. And thank you again, uh, Juan, for sending in the pictures. And whatever part of the world that you're in, uh, if you have something cool, send it in. It's greatly appreciated. I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to I'm going to sit on my my patio, on my balcony. And <laughs> yes, I know it's only a game. So and, and go from there. But I I love this view overlooking the the vineyard. All right. Thank you very much for joining. And until the next episode, um, goodbye.